I am destroying everything with a rocket launcher. I am okay with my life. Hello, everybody. So I decided to uh, build some shit. Definitely worth it. Fuck you, piranha. Taking my jabs and shit. This, this is excellent. This is absolutely excellent. I mean, let me go back down and, uh... I wonder. Oh god, just the look on his face. He's so straight-faced about it and everything. It's beautiful. Everything dies. <laughs> oh boy. Is there anybody that doesn't get like this though when they have a rocket launcher or some equivalent in a game? Honestly. Like, anybody that plays video games, if you don't get all slap happy when you fucking get a power weapon that, you know, something like that, you're fucking lying to yourself if you claim that. You find me one person who's genuinely sincere about saying that, and I will find you a liar. So this was fun times. I need to get some more, um, some more good shit going here. Because now I can get into the subterranean. I still need more copper. I think I might take out the mad crab, but I don't know. I think literally we just need to do more resource farming more than anything else. And yeah, that's boring as fucking hell, but it is a necessity. I may not even wind up doing the teleporter on camera, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it on camera. So we got still half of the day to burn. Yeah, so that burns through things. Now I got a sh I got a rocket launcher. So fuck it, if I really need something that does damage then I just need to attach things to that. So why don't I place you right here? Because I can do that. And uh, what did I need here again? I totally forgot. Copper wiring and shit, yeah, right. <clears throat> I know I'm going to need a lot of it. I'm also going to need teleporters too, so... Oh man, I'm going to need so much wire. I got like 53 though, which is good, but... I mean... That's still not enough for like... A lot of things. Because I need that to stretch all the way down to, like, the bottom of my shaft here. Which, uh, that is pain. That's what that is. I mean, just that little bit alone was that. <clears throat> so, we'll leave that there. I'll use the teleporter here. <clears throat> and I don't really need a switch or a sunlight. <clears throat> Oh, 
monsters passing just above it. I kind of want to play with that, but I kind of don't. <laughs> I'm going to save the aluminum for now. We need to go ahead and find some copper and shit, so... <clears throat> And while we're at it, I'm going to put this copper wiring as low underground as I can manage. Oh my god, we're going to need a hell of a lot more. <clears throat> we're going to need so much copper, it's ridiculous. It's not even remotely enough. <clears throat> So this time, let's not drop into the subterranean lake. Alright, you know what? I'm getting sick of getting stuck here over my own fucking stubbornness, but we're gonna do that. Uh, gold. Good thing I went up here. And we'll just dig this way a little ways, see if I can find anything. Looks like I found a dweller. I'm not playing with this right now. That's the wonders and the beauty of having a rocket launcher, kids. Nobody fucks with you at that point. You have the rocket launcher, like, you, you win. Argue all you might, but I mean, like, the guy with the fucking... You know, his is bigger. I don't know if I need all this coal or not, but I want it. And it's turning nighttime, so we should start getting back. Just decided to look at my in-game clock there, and, uh, glad I did. Still hasn't quite turned nighttime yet, though, so. Now it has. Now things will get all pissy at me. Now, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have some fun. Come here, kitties. I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna grab you. Now that I have you, that missed. <laughs> I need more air. <laughs> First and foremost, oxygen. I could probably do this for a night, yeah. I think I've officially pissed off everything in the vicinity. I'm gonna try to save these piranhas, though, until after the uh, rush. I wanna see if they'll actually drop anything good. I don't wanna go too far to the left. Spoiler, that's a boss way off to the left, so we don't want to go there yet. We can skip over that area entirely. This is dangerous doing this without anything to uh, heal with, but, you know, whatever. Danger is my middle name. My middle name's Cody, actually, but... I think if they spawn during the, uh... Yeah, okay, then that's how, that's how that works. Okay. Never knew. Figured I'd try it anyway, you never know. My phone is going off again. Follow me, buddies! So good, we didn't even need to go back topside. Not at all.
Oh, you die too. Everybody dies. I mean, everybody does die eventually. The eventual field of mortality. But anyway. Die, bitch. Mortality is a cruel bitch. I don't even remember where I was digging the first time I was in here, to be honest with you. I got so sidetracked earlier, I forgot even where... Oh uh, yeah, copper. We need that. We need lots of that. I'll take any magnesium and fucking... I'll leave the coal there for now. I mean, it's on the map. I can see it. Can I see it? Yeah, no, I, I can't see it, actually. Oh well. We'll just grab it then. If I need more coal, I know where to find the shit. It's more the fact of burning daylight right now. I don't know how much more of this uh, beautiful daylight that I'll have. Killed that black piranha outright first. Yeah, you're dead. I don't know if there's anything on the walls and shit in here first. That's gonna be the first thing I always check, though. Before I even think about moving over to just digging further to the left. I want to make sure there's nothing just embedded in the cave walls. I should start bringing lights with me. I'm getting really good at just swapping to the shotgun when I have something entirely different out and then just shotgun jumping into places. I love it because this game, the way that it has, one thing that they did that was really perfectly well done, honestly, it was near perfect, is they make the mechanics that they have in the game, like shotgun jumping, become so second nature. Because they add recoil into the game and all that other stuff. Can you all die, please? Die. Die. Everything dies. Go. Be gone. Sayonara. It becomes so second nature, the shotgun jumping, by the time that you've already done it the first few times, you're like, oh, that's cool, and then later on you do it without even, like, thinking about it. It's, it's a, just a natural response to things. And I can appreciate that. Like, when you're going to introduce a cool mechanic in the game, make sure that it keeps getting reused, you know? There's no point in just adding a mechanic into the game. It's like, alright, well, fuck it, you're not going to need that after a little while, so... Make it completely redundant and unneeded after a while, you know? It's one of the things that makes this game pretty unique, I think. I still need more copper. <clears throat> I've not found nearly enough of that shit. My answers, my prayers have been answered! Let's just dig out so that this stuff just fucking goes into the uh, subterranean here. To be honest, I have no idea if the Mad Crab actually has any ranged attacks. I don't know if I want to test it, though. <laughs> All I know is we're probably getting close to that chasm soon. And uh, he's just after the chasm. So if you really wanted a shortcut to fighting the bad crab, all you need to do is drop down the middle of the chasm and land in the fucking anything, really. Just land right in the subterranean lake, because it goes all the way down here. 
I think the scary thing about this game, too, is no, it does not stop at the subterranean lake. Not by any stretch. How much iron do we have? Not enough. I'm gonna hit about like a hundred iron before I'm good. Might wind up needing it for something. That was perfectly a hundred iron after that. See, this is this is totally professional. We know what we're doing. Yeah, that's the chasm right there. So let's grab this aluminum and bail the fuck out. See how much copper we have right now? Uh, 28, so that's like over 100. I'm sure this is more than 100 blocks deep, but... Well, I mean, it'd be more like 125 plus like 15, so 140, but... I find it funny how, like, at my job, too, I, I do retail, obviously, but... That's kind of half the reason right there why I'm really good with numbers. The other reason is just I, I'm, I'm a programmer, so I, I really... I work with numbers, you know? That's just what I do. So anything that's arithmetic like that, I can typically do in my head, and I just need to think about it for a minute, and then... Other than that, if, there's, if it gets any more difficult, I can pretty much figure out anything with just pen and paper, for the most part. And people find that, like, absolutely astonishing. <laughs> at my job, how they'll, like, ask me something and I can just figure it out when they give me a second. They're like, how the hell do you do that? And it's just kind of funny. No, no, I just never really thought of anything of it for it before, and then like, just people find it interesting, I guess. Alright. Let's make a fucking hell of a lot more copper wires. We really don't need the copper for much else for right now, at least, so I might as well just go for broke on the copper wires here. We got a literal fuck ton of aluminum now. That is a very good thing. I've killed too many piranhas to fucking count now at this point, so I really don't need to anymore. But OCD doesn't stop. No, no, it doesn't. OCD stops for nothing. Wow, this actually got a lot further down than I thought it was going to at first. We might not need as much copper as I had originally anticipated. How much further do we need to go? That was, like, almost there. I I'd say, like, another 80 or so, 80 to 100, and we should be golden. But uh, we're going to stay topside now because it is nighttime. And nighttime is the right time. So it was a little stressful starting out on this, but we're good. I'm all right now. Still attacking shit over here? Like, I still don't know. Nah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna just do this. I need more heavy turrets up there, and I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I mean, I could power these things, but that'd be a waste of the black piranha organs right now. And, uh, let me just make sure that, uh, yeah, you can heal, like, these top three blocks, so... That'll work just fine for a long time. <clears throat> So one of the next things we're going to work on is trying to flood everything underneath the uh, floating islands. After we flood the floating islands, I'm going to wind up needing to go there at some point, so... But I need more black piranha regen organs, so I might want to make a black piranha pool underground. Once I do that, then we can work on the next 
uh, the next thing, the builder. So once we build the builder, then I can start working on better things and start upgrading my ship further. Mainly my miniaturizer and the, uh, just the recipes in general, because then I'll have other guns, because there's a big motherfucking gun that I'm going to wind up needing. Are those black piranhas? They are, I think. Yeah, that's a black piranha. They're spawning underneath here during night waves. Okay. So, we're gonna cut it here, guys. Probably done recording for the day. I just wanted to get a couple of things in so I had material to work on, so... Hopefully this winds up working out well. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.